Hey YouTube, I'm Jake Marshan, and as you may have seen, I bought a set of the Michelin Cross Climate 2s and slapped them on my Mazda CX-5. I did an initial video, and I also knocked a video out just to, you know, for my kind of initial and semi-initial reviews at 4,000 miles. And uh, now I've driven these tires about 12,000 miles. I've gone through three different oil changes and a rotation. And I think I've developed a fairly balanced seasoned opinion on these tires and I've and I wanted to convey a couple of the problems that I've come across and maybe you will come across if you buy a set of these um, and I just want to go ahead and jump right into it uh, the first one I would say is the fuel efficiency so on average per tank I'm getting about one to two miles less uh, mpg less per tank um, usually, and this has been very consistent for about 60,000 miles I've had in this vehicle, usually I get about 27, 27.4 miles per gallon across an entire tank of fuel, and I've seen 25 miles per gallon a lot. Um, and I've actually averaged this over, I, I have two odometers, one I set per tank and one I set per oil change, and I've averaged this over my most recent oil change, it was 25 miles per gallon across the whole entire oil change. So I just, I can't really help but admit that they're probably using a little bit more fuel after, like I said, after about three months. I think I can kind of definitively say that, but just a little bit more. Um, it's not cutting down 20%. It's just, like I said, pretty minuscule, maybe just 5% or so, 3 to 5% of your fuel economy. Um, but that's just my personal experience. It could be different for others. Um, and it also seems to do a little bit worse at higher speeds. Like right now, I'm going 60. I'm probably that guy you hate going 60 on the right in the interstate but I'm getting 26 I've got 26.2 miles per gallon average on this tank and I'm getting 79 57.4 miles per gallon kind of going down this hill 42 as I flatten out 31 as I'm coming back up the other side of the hill so I get good mileage lower um, at lower in the lower in the mile per hour range but once you start going at higher speeds it definitely kills it um, the second thing I would have to say about it is road noise, but this is also very similar to the first point um, concerning the speed. At 80 miles per hour and more, I tend to notice a little more road noise. Now, I don't drive fast. Um, I rarely go 80. I usually, like I said, like to go in between 65 and 75 on the interstate. I have no reason. I just don't like going fast. And uh, these, when I do have to speed, like for example, when I'm going in a hurry somewhere or there's an emergency situation I notice a little more cabin noise um, if you don't speed you'll never know this and there is no discernible cabin noise difference in between regular tires and these tires you know below 80 mile per hour but if you're going that fast you may notice that um, also I have a new I call it new it's new to me it's a two-year-old Mazda CX-5 bought it brand new and I'm assuming the seals on all these doors and windows are pretty tight so the cabin noise in my vehicle is pretty uh, should be pretty low compared to like about a 1996 diesel F350 you know what I mean so um, bear in mind I should have a quieter cab and I recognize that it could be different in different vehicles um, the third problem that I kind of noticed with these and this is just a little bit old school me I've done all my might uh, all my own maintenance on all my own vehicles for the longest time and uh, one thing that I noticed about this that was kind of weird was the uh, the rotation and the maintenance on these tires. So when they were uh, rotating my tires, they just did back to front, front to back, which for kind of an older school person like me who's always done this stuff, I always want to cross them, cross one set up to the front and then move the front to the back. And I had to talk with the tire maintenance guy about that because I just thought, you know, old school me, there must be a reason for why I've always done this. I figured the tires would start shaving off on the far right hand side because they'll never get crossed. And uh, the maintenance guy, the, the technician ended up telling me that they actually go back front, front back on all vehicles because some vehicles are uh, discernibly, some vehicles, they actually have like a directional pattern, but it's hard to tell and they'll end up crossing a set of them and just totally destroying a set of tires. So to kind of decrease liability, they do this for every single vehicle, just back to front, front to back. And this was the Mazda dealership. So if that's the case, Every time I've ever taken my vehicle to get the tires rotated, they've been doing it back, front, front, back. And I didn't know anything. They had me fooled because I was assuming they were rotating them like I had always done. But that was a little bit tricky. 
um, but I learned a little bit of stuff about it, but I would have to say that was kind of a negative, you know, because if you did want to do this, you know, maintain your tires yourself and actually what I would consider do it you know, optimally, you really can't do it with these directional tires. The maintenance is a little bit different in a couple areas for these, um, but it's really easy to look up. The fourth option, and I can tell you this definitively, these suckers are premium, primo priced, and they are expensive. Um, like I said, I've been driving these for about 12,000 miles. I've gotten to sit and think about my purchase. It's settled on me. You know, the initial giddiness of the buyer, I'm kind of done. And I love these tires to death. Uh, but like reflecting on it, like when I see a set of my friend, a, a friend of mine will have truck tires and he'll tell me he paid less for his truck tires than mine. It'll kind of shock me a little bit. So I've got to say like these things are ridiculously expensive. Um, and you get the best of the best quality of tire, but these things are ridiculously expensive, you know. Um, you could almost buy a set of Firestones and then keep three Firestones as a spare in case you busted a tire in the trunk of the car just because you have so much uh, so much spare cash. Or just get a couple years at the AAA membership and you won't even have to worry about it. Um, and lastly, and this is more of a joke because I love these tires much, is that I drive really dangerously the first couple weeks to get these. If you end up buying these tires, these tires are going to be so fantastic driving through the water. They're going to be so fantastic driving through the rain and the mud puddles. And like, for example, if you've got a front wheel drive SUV going up a hill at a stoplight and then you have to floor it, it's going to grip. You're going to love the grip, love the weather handling, everything about this vehicle. I mean, everything about the tires when you put them on that you're going to end up searching for mud puddles to hit, which is dangerous. You're going to end up when it's raining and you're going on the interstate and everybody's slowing down you're going to jump in the fast lane because you have no problem with a little water on the road. Um, like I said, you're going to, you might actually even want to take your vehicle out when it rains just to test it out. And you're going to be a little more dangerous for the first couple weeks. So you got to get over that initial shock value of these tires being so nice and uh, make sure you make it through those first couple weeks because like all in the comments, I have a lot of people who bought these tires and they said the exact same thing. It's just, it's a whole new world. Uh, in the words of Disney's Aladdin, um, but anyway, that's my that's five different things. You know, the fuel efficiency a couple miles below. The road noise is a little bit higher. The rotation maintenance is a little bit strange if you're going to do it itself. The price is really really high, and the uh, first risk, the two week risk factor you're going to get when you're buying them. But besides that, that's about all the problems. Um, if there's any more, if you have any questions, put it below in the comments. I'd love to answer them. I answer every single comment as soon as I can. And if I helped you at all, give me a thumbs up. I would love that. Subscribe, and I'll keep throwing more content. My name's Jake Marshane, coming to you live from the Sun Belt. I love you guys. Thank you, YouTube. Talk to you shortly.